Okay, so today I bring you a beautiful 1996 Toyota Camry. And yes, it's a Japanese car I'm doing. But these Camrys, like I say, I love this body, just like I like the other body. But last year for this one, before it was redesigned in 97, and I hate the 97 body. I really hate it. I think it's ugly, disgusting. Looks like shit, it's square, it's boring, it's yucky, yuck. But this one is so clean, so nice, so sharp. Let's do our once around. The body's pretty much perfect, except for the little... Right here, you can see in the back of the... Uh, passenger door on the driver's side. And right over there in the body, too, a little dent, but not too bad. The rest of the car is pretty clean. And this back is redesigned for um, 96 or 95, I forget. The old one used to have a wraparound taillight design, so essentially that's all they did was change it. Whereas this Camry over there in the trunk. We'll open the hood in a minute, and we'll get to the front end when I uh, move it out. But for now, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Clean as clean can get. Power locks. Power windows, window up, fully manual, driver's seat with all different, the tilt, and to, you know, pretty much any position you want. <coughs> Your power mirrors are over here on the dash, and only 79,000 on this thing. Yep, 79k. No mirror. Very simple layout, but nice nonetheless. Power mode and economy for the transmission, along with storage, aftermarket Sony stereo, as you can see, cup holders. So, let's do it. Camry. Let me just close the back door. There we go. Now it's started up. As soon as I can find the key, here we go. And yes, that is the original key. I don't know if you care, but original Toyota key. Here we go. There we go. See all the lights on there. Now let's fire her up. Open the window. Drive it down. Let's go. Starts right up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's back it up a notch. Good enough. Perfect. So what else? Very nice steering. Tilt wheel over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Your clock apparently does not work. Nope, maybe that's a fuse. We'll check that later. AC, fan, zones, AC, we the fog, we circulate, and it blows nice and cool in here. Like I said before, aftermarket radio. Very nice, big, fat leather armrest with storage. Small, but you know. So she's got a three speed. No, four speed. My bad, four speed. Of course, with your overdrive over here. You can see overdrive off, on. Of course, it's on the floor. It's a Japanese car. There was only one Japanese sedan with a bench seat. Ironically, not made by Toyota. So, a oh, little storage over there. Now, let's see how she sounds, shall we?
very nice car. Simple gauges, cruise control right here. Now let's turn on the lights and open the hood. Toyota, of course, which of course cylinder also available with a six. And you have hinges too, which hold the hood up very nice. 2200 four cylinder, they used this motor for a long time since 92 when this body came out, maybe even early. I'm not that up on Toyotas, runs great, quiet. Smooth. So, anyways, let's uh, shut it down. We'll show you the uh, rest of the car. As I mentioned, fully manual seats, adjustable in all different positions. Seatbelt light. And your door light isn't working, but it should have a light that comes in until your door's open. Or whatever the case. Let's go into the back. Very nice, matches the seats and vinyl up here, very padded. Flush, nice. Ashtray. Grip handle with toad hook and dome and reading light, which doesn't work. Hmm. Fold down armrest. Very nice. Very nice in here, yes. Oil room's a little tight, but that's because the seat is back. So anyways, let's open up the trunk. Right. And we'll pop the fuel. As you see over here, just lift that up, just like this. Original Toyota mats. Very clean in here, very nice. Get your spare down there. As I mentioned, a little hit over there, but not too bad. And yeah. So anyways, this is Harry Rez, signing off for now.